Hey guys, how's it going? Um, this is a new account that I'm starting up. Uh, the reason why I started this account is because I like basketball. Um, and I like basketball cards. And I like to collect them. I've been collecting them ever since the early 90s. And I stopped for a while. And um, just recently, a few months ago, I started getting the itch and I started collecting again. And um, one of the first cards that I collected was the Redemptions, the Panini um, Limited and Past and Presents. And, uh, you know, there's a new um, there's a new Hoops coming out. And uh, it's funny because I just bought a few boxes of early Hoops, like in the early 90s, and I was kind of surprised to see, like, the new David Robinson um, buyback. I thought that was pretty cool, the buyback auto. But anyway, um, on this channel, I would probably review some um, mail days, my PCs, uh, stuff for sale, um, box breaks, uh, reviews of box breaks, um, maybe group breaks. I'm not sure if I'm going to do group breaks. Um, also, NBA talk. And uh, yeah, so currently right now, I'm um, collecting some um, exceptionals. I really like um, exceptional. It's the Skybox, what is it, 2000, 99, 2000 uh, exceptionals. Um, the only thing I have right now is uh, the Shaquille O'Neal exceptional, which I got recently this week. Um, Lamar Odom exceptional, which I thought is funny because he's going back to the Clippers and. Yeah, he's in a Clippers uniform, so I thought that was kind of funny. And also, I have two Kobe somewhere that I can't find right now. Two Kobe exceptionals. Um, I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm starting to look for these, the red versions, because they're the cheapest. And once I get all the red versions, I'm going to start collecting the, um, the greens versions. And then the blue ones, but the blue ones are pretty pricey right now, so I, I really don't think I'm gonna collect every single one of the blue ones. But the red ones for sure, and the green ones um, once I complete the red ones. So if you guys have any red EXs, um, let me know. You know, and uh, just direct me to your um, check on my cards or you know your your um, eBay if you have them on for sale and uh, so yeah um, here's my Kobe card I finally found it here it is my Kobe card I'm debating if I should go get it graded um, there's a lot of them on eBay right now it's probably like five of them right now, right now on eBay none of them's graded so I don't know if I should even bother grading them um, I apologize for the quality of the videos, uh, my phone's pretty cheap right now, but I'm thinking about getting the, um, the Sony Blogger, um, Sony Blogger Touch, um, it's, why? Because it's pretty cheap, and I need something that's better quality than this one, because, um, the Blogger Touch has, like, you know, 12 megapixels, and there's, it's just all around better than the crappy phone I have, and, um, if you're wondering what kind of phone it is, it's it's from Virgin Mobile, so you can kind of figure it out from there. Um, I'm a big collector of Kobe cards. Uh, Kobe's my favorite player. I've been a Lakers fan since you know the '80s, the late '80s, Showtime era. So I'm really excited to see um, the new Showtime era, which is you know um, this coming up season. Well, with the acquisition of Nash and Dwight Howard. You know, I'm pretty stoked. I'm pretty stoked. I mean, I'm not sure if everybody's going to go to the All-Star game. Not like, you know, that that one season when Eddie Jones and and uh, Kobe and Shaq and Nick was all in the All-Star game. I thought that was pretty funny. But probably my most prized possession of the, my Kobe cards is um, Biography, National Treasures, 2009-2010 it's a Beckett 9.5 and a 10 auto 
It's a um, short print to 25, I think. What is that? Yes, 25. It's uh, number 21 out of 25. And it's one of my first cars that I did a box break with. Um, so I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, probably my second card would be the, um, let me see, 97 Kobe Stadium Club, one of a kind. And uh, that one I just got because of a couple of box breaks that I did with the Stadium Club. And uh, I was pretty surprised to get this one. It was, it was 136 out of 150, short print. That's one of my favorite cards. I'm thinking about getting this one graded. I should. And, uh, yeah, I'm just a Kobe collector. I've been collecting a lot of his cards. It's almost impossible to collect every single one. Um, I do have some Jordans, some LeBron, some Wade's, but my favorite are Kobe's. So I tend to flip those, but the Kobe's, I tend to keep them. Um, here's a Kobe Bryant. Uh, let me see, I don't know if you can see that, but the quality is really bad. I apologize. It's a 97-98 um, Fleer Kobe Bryant. Actually, it's a Fleer Showcase. Yeah, made by Fleer. And I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I got this at a trade show. And, uh, let me see, I got this one, it's a, let me see, 90, 97 Premium, no, Skybox Premium, yes, Kobe Bryant. I like collect, collecting the earlier uh, Kobe Bryant cards, they're more fun, because um, he still has the afro going, or either that or he's bald. And uh, let's see, this one's a 97 um, Fleer, 97-98 Fleer All Rookie, which is pretty cool. I got that also from the trade show. And uh, let's see, I do have another one here that I got. This is um, a later one. This is a uh, 2002-2003 Upper Deck. SPX um, base card, so that's pretty nice. Um, Mailbag wise, this week I got a Kobe Bryant, Bryant Fleer Mystique. It's really hard to see. I really need to get a better camera and lighting here. Um, this is a 2000, 99-2000 Mystique, um, short print, 2500. I have two of these now. I don't know why I got another one. I guess because I really like Mystiques. They were, they were fun to open. They were fun to break. One of my most fun breaks to um, in this to this date. Um, this this card by Scotty Pippen, which I thought was funny. I was I was breaking a a, a Fleur Mystique box 992000, and this one came out. And at first I thought it was an error, but I think it was just a cut that. That was wrong. It was just kind of weird because it's kind of overlapping. So yeah, Scotty Pippen fans, I don't know what to do with this card. Um, just for giggles, I got a Michael K. Gilchrist um, replica card. I don't know. I just, I think he's pretty cool. I have some redemptions from him that I need to redeem from Panini. So yeah, if you guys want to get that one, it's from ACEO on eBay. It's like five bucks shipped, so you know it's just a nice, fun card to have. And that's it. I'm running out of time, so um, if I get more stuff, I'll let you guys know. Talk to you later.